Okay, so in this problem, it's our task to figure out the probability of getting exactly four marbles of the same color. So I wrote probability of four with the same color when we randomly draw five marbles without replacement from this set of marbles. So if you look at this, we have a total of 48 marbles here. They're numbered from 1 to 12, each group of marbles. And if you think about it that way, it's kind of like a, a deck of cards, but they're not cards, they're marbles. But, you know, we have four suits in a way. And, you know, normally card decks have 13 cards in each suit. Here we have 12. It's very similar, though. So what I want to do is to think about, you know, how I did the four of a kind problem when working with cards. It's a very similar type problem. But first thing I want to do is, is to look at this phrase here where it says order does not matter. So as long as I have the same five marbles, the order in which they come out doesn't make a difference. So that means that when I want to come down here and get the total number of groups of five marbles I can take, so the total number of subsets of five marbles I can take from the larger set of 48 marbles, I can just do a combination. So I can just say out of 48 marbles, I'm going to choose five of them. And this will give me all the different subsets of five marbles that can be taken from 48 marbles. Now, for the numerator, I need to actually imagine that I'm going to create this set of five marbles where four of them are the same color. So what you want to first do, if you think about that, imagine you're making up one of these sets in your head. You might say, well, let's say we're going to get four marbles that are red that are going to be the same color. So imagine if I said that. I said four red, right? So I'm going to make them red. And then you say, okay, well, you've got four marbles that are red, but you know, I'd ask, well, okay, so you know they're going to come from the red batch, and you know they're going to be four, but which specific marbles are you going to take? Are you going to take the marbles, you know, one, two, three, four, or are you going to take, you know, 10, 8, 12, and 6? You know, which four marbles? So then you have to what? Figure out which of the marbles you're going to take. So it might be like, you know, 2, 4, 6, and 8. You'll take those red marbles, the ones that have the number 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now from there, you'd have to think, okay, well, to make the last bit here, I've got four marbles only at this point. I've got four red marbles, these specific red marbles. What do you have to do next? Well, you have to think, well, what's the other marble I'm going to take? So you might say, well, I'm going to grab a marble from the yellow category, right? And I think I'm going to pick the seven from the yellow category. So do you see how I mentally went through the process of determining my group of marbles? Well, it's the same thing we're going to do here then. All right, so... With this in mind, let's think about how I did each of these steps. And I'm going to have to put a combination for each of them. So what did I do here first? I first kind of determined what color I was going to take my four marbles from, right? So I knew I was going to take four red marbles. So I said, okay, out of the four colors, I had to pick one color to represent four times. So I'm going to say out of the four different colors there were to choose from, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of those to represent the color that I'll draw four marbles from. So basically at this step, I'm choosing the color red. Out of the four colors, I choose red. So remember, like 48 choose five, this is the same notation, four choose one. And let's do the next step of the process. How did I get these four marbles? Well, I said, okay, thinking about the red marbles, there were 12 red marbles. And thinking about those 12 red marbles, I came up with four that I wanted to take. So out of 12 red marbles, I chose four. All right, next step is to think about the other marble and where it's going to come from. So I knew I needed five marbles. At this point, I would have only had four marbles. So I say to myself, okay, I'm going to pick the color where I take the next marble from. So I'm going to say, well, of the remaining three colors, and again, it has to be with the remaining three because I can't use red again or else I'd have five red marbles, right? I only want four with the same color. So I say, okay, out of the remaining three colors, I'm going to choose one color, and I'm going to pick yellow in that case. So out of the remaining three colors, blue, green, yellow, I chose the one color I wanted, which was yellow. And then among the yellow marbles, right, and how many yellow marbles are there? Well, there are 12 yellow marbles. I have to choose the one yellow marble that I'm interested in, in this case, the seven. And so there it is. That's my numerator. If I multiply all that out, it would give me the answer. Now, alternatively, you could have summarized this as saying, well, look, at this point, you have all your red marbles, correct? You have all your red marbles. And at this point, you could have just said, well, look, there are leftover 12, 12, 12, 36 total leftover marbles. I just need to pick any one of those. So 36 choose one would give you the same exact answer as these two. But either way, this would be the answer. Now, when you do uh, four choose one, you just get four. Uh, 12 choose four, we'll have to work out. I'll do that one in a minute for us. Uh, three choose one is three, and 12 choose one is just 12. So 
that's basically the top, and we'll have to work out this one as well. So let's use the calculator to get those final bits of the problem. All right, so let's first start with the uh, 12 choose 4 and see what that gives us. So I'm going to have 12, then go under the math menu on this calculator, PRB, I'll take option 3, and 4. All right, let's see what this gives us, 495. And on the bottom, I need to do 48 choose 5. And when I do that, I get this huge number, uh, 1,712,304. So 1,712,304. Okay, so let's multiply all that out on top and divide by that and get our final answer to the problem. And so I get uh, 0 0.0416, 0 0.0416.